So I was talking the other day about human friendly organizations and human friendly leadership and asking you whether your organization is human friendly. And then I noticed some questions, they weren't public, they were sort of underneath the surface, whether if if we're going to have human friendly leadership, human friendly organizations, that means organizations and leadership that take into account that human beings have feelings and emotions and basic needs, that if we take all of that into account, does that mean we'll take our eye off the numbers? Does that mean we won't really be creating any results? Really, that's what we're thinking. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Because who's going to perform? Who is it that's going to deliver those numbers? I mean, surely that's the human beings. And when do we perform best? When we feel like we can't breathe? When we feel suffocated, burnt out? Is that when we perform best? I mean, the truth is, I see lots of organizations with people on the verge of burnout and they produce lots of things but I can tell you for sure it's not the right things and the amount of chaos that is on the inside of these organizations so even though the press makes it sound really nice and there's corporate communications people you know presenting a good front on the inside people are burning out and they're exhausted and they're working so hard but most of it is not the things that are actually moving the business forward in a way that's sustainable we need to talk about healthy organizations, human friendly ones, where both profit and people are healthy. And I tell you what, the people that I coach and the people that I talk to, and they represent a really wide variety of levels and professions, they don't they don't come to me and say, well, I just want a nice place of work, but I don't really want to create any results. I don't want to have to have results. They don't say that. I tell you what they say. They say, I want to add more value. I want to be in the right place where I can really be seen for what I'm contributing. I want to be noticed and I want to do more. How can I do more? That's what they say. They also would like to be able to breathe and they would like to have their sanity intact. And so if you're interested in working a different way, if you're involved in any kind of change processes, either as a coach or consultant supporting leaders in organizations, or you're in an organization, maybe in an HR type function, or you're a leader, and you're needing to lead change, you've got to know how to do this in a human way. I, I would really invite you to come look at Constellations for Leadership and Change, which is um, a self-study program on how to use the constellations method. Constellations just mean looking at us in relation to other people, that we are relational beings. And looking at how to use this method for a human way of doing leadership, doing change, of looking at our human patterns in organizations and, and in relationship with each other. I have a free trial of the first three videos, so you can just sign up, see if it's for you. Um, and if you're thinking self-study, I'm not great on my own, then just uh, do a comment below and um, I'll tell you about the option of, uh, of upgrading and having some one-to-one -one coaching support with me because absolutely I can take you through this program and we can do it together. Um, it's a lot of fun and we'll really go deep and make it practical with you. So if you want to know more, I'm going to post the link in a moment and you can go to the constellations for leadership and change and check out as I said there's a link to the first three videos that's free check it out and um, if you agree with me we need more human friendly organizations comment below also I think we need to talk more about this